So, hi guys, today we're making masks and you know, if you go outside or anything, you have to make a mask like we do. How are you gonna make masks? Show me. Okay, but I really don't know how to, but... Okay, Papa, okay. here. I'll show you. You can I'll copy, you Papa. Yeah, you just first, copy me. So first, yeah, you, you take... keep folding you it. Take a nice rectangular piece of paper towel like this right you fold it in half danny okay. you can copy Papa. yeah you can copy me go ahead Come on. so this is if you don't already have a mask sure first fold it in half okay you make a crease like that and then you have to do this you got it you got it and then you fold it over again this one, okay. this side or this side? This one? And that side, sure. Okay, make a crease and then you do it again a third time. And there you go. Alright. Mama, you can make it like this. Nice. And then you go like this. You kind of, okay, you take it. You fold it out. Okay, you unfold the thing. So it's flat, yeah, there you go. And then you take, yeah, you take each side, right? Just like that, like an accordion, you fold it up again. You, you do it like this? Yeah. Just like that. You try to do your best, doesn't have to be professional, doesn't have I to be it. perfect. Okay. I did it. Okay, you take the sides like that, right? And then you, you take one end and you put the rubber band like this. You put you it through the rubber band, like right? Just a regular rubber band. You put it through like that. And then you fold the edge. You fold it over like that. You got it? And then you, and then you staple it, right? Okay. Take a, take a, like a, when you're done, a do normal stapler. You put one staple in there, you can put the two staples in there just to make it a little bit more sturdy, a little bit stronger, right? Okay, you go ahead. Watch your hand, watch your fingers, baby. Yeah, be careful. Don't staple your fingers. My thing. Done. Good. My thing. Okay, so you take the other side and you do the same thing with the other my side. Thing. Okay, let's see if you can do it. <laughs> wow, you're trying that too. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm doing it. <laughs> Good job. Okay, Just so wash you your fingers. Yeah, there you go. Done. All right, Let buddy. See. You can open your mask. So I'm going to finish mine off too. Okay, so you gotta you gotta fan it out a little bit before you put it on your face. You look like a bandit. <laughs> okay, so you gotta fan it out a little bit. Okay, like that. Before you put it on your face. Now you open it properly. So here we go, and we open it properly. Put this over one ear. Can you I got open big it ears, so it takes a little. Can you open it for I can open it for you here. Let me throw my face first. <laughs> Hopefully that will work. You just try. <laughs> basic thing is that you have to cover your nose and your mouth mm -hmm. so yeah, that's exactly. the right nose and mouth there you go yeah and if you don't have like mask available in the market so you can make your own mm -hmm. to prevent that dangerous coronavirus yeah, so. okay that's good. Voila. okay so if you have to go out of the house You know, to get groceries or if you have to go to the doctor's office or whatever, you know, like actually emergency situations. Uh, before you go out, you should sanitize your hand. And after you leave the store or 
the clinic or doctor's office or whatever, you should always sanitize before you leave. And then if you can carry one of these in your car, if you have extra ones, it's a good idea. Sanitize your hands before you touch your steering wheel or a door handle or anything like that once you're in the car, right? Um, just taking extra precautions, right? We want to make sure that, that the, the virus is still not on any surface or on your hands. Uh, if you have gloves, wear the gloves while you're out, okay? And after you leave the store or the medical clinic or what have you, just take the gloves off and dispose of them properly. Okay, and then get in your car, sanitize your hands, or if you don't have sanitizer in your car, once you get home, you go inside the house and you sanitize your hands. And then, go ahead. You know what, if you come back with your things, you go grocery shopping, and, you, and if you come back, you have to get the disinfecting wipes, and then you have to wipe your things. Good point. So once you get back home, uh, you take one wipe out and you you want to sanitize all the surfaces that people have potentially touched, including yourself, such as doorknobs, door jams, handrails, things like that, that are like high traffic uh, items, right? High traffic objects. So like surfaces that multiple people might have touched. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's all wiped uh, nicely and, and thoroughly. And then you, of course, dispose of the wipe right after you're done with it in a in a properly uh, lined waste basket. Okay, so now we're going to show you uh, how to wash your hands properly. Okay, and so we're going to put our mask on just to illustrate, you know, how the mask looks and and how it works, uh, and especially when you're out and about in public. There we go, Taryn. Let's go over the sink. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Follow us. Yeah, are you here at the sink? Are you you want to show the kids how you're going to wash okay, your hands? So we just got back home, okay? And we're going to take our gloves off. We'll put the one glove inside the other, okay? Turn it inside out, and then we're going to just throw it in the waste basket, okay? So... This is Taryn's gloves. Yeah, and you can throw those out, Taryn. Right, there we go. We'll just spawn of those right here. There you go, that's the garbage. That's garbage as well. Okay. And now we turn on the hot water. Not hot water, actually. It's warm just water. Be warm water. Yeah. You then you wash your hands. Take your soap. And then you wash all where everywhere. Between and hips and behind. How about fingertips? Like this. Fingertips. How long should you wash your hands for? What? 20 seconds. For 20 seconds? Or you count happy birth uh you say happy birthday two times, right? Two times. Right? Okay. Try not to touch your face until after your hands are washed, okay? All okay. right, all right, well done. So... And now you, you use a clean towel, or you use a clean paper towel to dry your hands. Yeah. It's all about staying safe, okay? And part of that uh, is staying home and going out uh, only when it's absolutely necessary. And also uh, about the paper masks that we showed you how to make. So it's, it may not prevent you from, you know, getting the virus, but it may help prevent you infecting other people when you're out in public places um, because it lessens the chance of them breathing in your air. So um, it's not foolproof, but it's better than nothing. Um, so if nothing else is available, no other masks are available at any stores or online stores or whatever, but yeah, this is a good plan B. So keep that in mind. If you have to go out, wear a mask, wear gloves, if not gloves, sanitize your hands uh, whenever you get a chance, okay? That's very, very important. And hopefully we will, hopefully we will all get over this COVID-19 thing pretty soon. 
we all have to play our part, take the proper precautions, uh, and it depends on our, our own behavior, how quickly we can get over this thing. So hopefully we will all get over it together because we're in this together, uh, although, you know, six feet apart. And yes, that's another thing. When you go out in public, it's recommended that you stay about six feet apart from each other or roughly two meters. And that's called social distancing. That's like the new catchphrase of the day. So we have to learn how to socially distance ourselves properly, um, give each other you know, enough space. And um, with all the other precautions, the mask and the gloves and the sanitizer and the disinfecting wipes, uh, hopefully we can beat this thing sooner rather than later, okay? You know what? If the corona window, coronavirus is gone, and if the people come in, now you can hug them when the coronavirus is gone. So, you can do that. <laughs> bye bye I'm going to hug you because I'm all sanitized. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go shake hands. Not until you sanitize your hands. <laughs> Okay, or wash them, and the other person has washed them too, okay? Bye-bye! No hugging, no shaking hands until you're both sanitized. Okay, so you have to stay safe, then stay home. Bye-bye!